West Michigan. Thanks for continuing watching us. I'm with Jackie Fisher over here, and because I always use my cheat card, it's West Michigan Therapy Incorporated, mm -hmm. and she's a special projects coordinator, which means you handle the marketing and fundraising. I do. And uh, you were telling me about you bought a new building. The organization mm -hmm. has bought a new building to consolidate a lot of your offices and staff. And somehow or another, it's got to be paid for. Plus, the projects you're doing helping people cost a lot of money for you. And I'm sure you don't get enough outside help to always do it. So you've got some unique program going. I think I think you got to tell everybody about it. Sure. We have just uh, recently launched a million quarters drive. We're trying to raise a million quarters. That's $250,000. Not a lot of money. But um, we need this money very um, much for the housing programs that we provide. So, uh, you know, why do we need this? Because the numbers of people have gone up, this, the service demand is higher, and the budgets from the state and federal government have been kind of tied up, and so the We're funds that, that we've been receiving have either been frozen, reduced, or cut, and depending on the program. And so we still need the money that we were getting to help the numbers of people that this community has who need our services. So we feel that with $250,000 we can continue to support our housing, housing navigation center and this is a program at, in our housing area that is uh, through which we provide a weekly um, program for folks to come in and find out what can they do when they're facing loss of their home, whether it's an apartment or a house, and where are they going to get the help that they need to stably be housed again. You know, when you look at Maslow's hierarchy, having a home is one of the most critical pieces of a person's life. Without the stability, knowing where you're going to sleep at night, where you're going to be for safety and shelter, it's pretty hard to think about other issues. I mean, food and clothing and shelter are the primaries, right? And you can only beg from relation or friends for so long. For so long, and, and you wear not, that out. That's not stable. Exactly. You're trying to find something stable. Stable and help them. So what we do is we, in those weekly workshops, and it's it, you know we have a, a basic format, but come each time and you can get additional information, and, and we try to cater to the needs of the people who come each time. The group is different depending on the, who comes and what their questions and needs are. And then we have, um, once they do become a client of ours, for whatever in whatever way and if they already are we have ongoing case management that we provide which makes a big difference in a person's life and a family's life it's a continuous financial draw absolutely in it, it means Absolute somebody power. has to go out and and go to visit them and that costs us money and we've got to have people on staff who can do that in order to keep people stable so many of the people that we serve and have helped to um, house in over 600 scattered sites in the county we have apartments wow. and landlords that we work with so many of the people that we work with are what we call chronically homeless and the definition of that that is typically used is that that means that they They've had three instances, instances or more of homelessness in a year. And many of these people have mental illness, um, low education, low job skills, and so they continually fall into a homeless situation. Those are the ones that falls in the hole, hole especially during these bad economic right. times. It's right. just, and it's just adding to it with right. that right now. So. And they recycle back into the system, so to speak. And, and so what we try to do is to help them to stay stable so that they don't keep coming back for to start all over again with another agency, if not ours. And the longer we can keep them housed, the more security and stability they have, the more that we can help them to reduce the chaos in their life. It's better for everybody in their family. Well, it's hard to apply for a job when you don't have a home address. Mm -hmm. No matter how menial the Absolutely. job is, just being a janitor on the job, picking up things. Absolutely. Uh, you, you need that stability. This is where I live. This right, is where so I'm people from. can communicate this with This is where you. I go home to at night. And, yeah. and of course, that, that has to be an inspiration for them, too, to get out there mm -hmm. and help themselves. Right. You know, it's it's not really, people don't know, but we've had, in 2009, we had over 2,200 homeless persons in Muskegon County. And if you ask me in a few days, I'll have the count for 2010. Um, oh my, and that's hard for those of us. 2,200 people. And we're living in our own world. We don't always see this right. and understand this. And you're on the front lines with it. 
so you see that. But some of us say, oh, we don't have any homeless in the area. Yeah, well, that that's because the they are couch surfing. They go from friends or family members home to home, or they're sleeping in their cars. And then there, there are a lot of places in the community that they congregate. And folks who work in the various agencies know where a lot of those places are. We're not unique. Every community has it. Right. You have a special program to try and pick it mm -hmm. up and clear right. it. Up in the area. So, it's really special. so through but our Million Quarters Drive, money. we're trying to raise the funds that we need to keep our program intact. And we're doing this through a variety of um, programs. People can just donate directly if they want to send a check to West Michigan Therapy at 130 East Apple Avenue. And you can say you write a check for $1,000, but they can figure it out in the lower left and memo say, this is for so many quarters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, we want to, I think it's very unique how you, you do yeah. it. Yeah, well, you more. know, the concept is that small change makes a difference. It's and really if everybody hard. would reach in and just empty their pockets of the small change and, and send it to us either in coin or paper equivalent. No, um, Benjamin Franklin said, a it, penny saved is a penny earned. There you go. And it, well, it adds up. Understand that today, but they up. do it add up, and that does add up. So. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people I know, a lot of men will take the change, loose change out of the pocket at night and throw it on the dresser. In about a week's time, they, they can't imagine the pile they got there. Wow! Right. And that's all you're asking for is Absolutely. that stuff that's really not messed. The quarters. Right. If everybody would just think of us when they see that and run it down to us. <laughs> um, one of the things we have, we, we've got these little collection boxes and for people who really want to do this seriously, we'd be happy to get a box to folks and they can collect it and uh, at the end of a few months bring it into us and, and that would be a great contribution. Um, we hope that some churches and schools will do that and we've got a few businesses that have already taken them, small businesses in town and they've got them on the counter and if anybody sees a little blue box with, with white letters and it's talking about Million Quarters Drive it's coming this way to help those programs. Well, I know a lot of churches basically have two offerings. They have the one for the church, and then they also have a noisy offering, which is mm -hmm. loose change in a pocket. Right. And the church I belong to, it's every week it goes to a different cause, and most generally within our own area, mm -hmm. because our name of our church got the word community in it. We're very concerned about yeah. that. So that's a, that's a good opening right there. And plus, by doing that to all the churches, you get in the publicity out there to a lot of people also. Right. The awareness that you are doing this one million quarters mm -hmm. right. campaign. Well, and we know, you know, church-going people are, have good hearts and, and they care about these issues, and so we're hoping a few of them will get on board with us, and uh, anyone who's interested can contact me, and I'd be happy to work with them. Um, we well, wait a minute. Stop a minute. Sure. If they can contact you, we have to tell the world how they can contact okay. you, Jackie. Well, at the uh, at the office, the best thing would be to just call 728-2138 and leave a message for me, um, and I'd be happy to get back to them. Their name is Jackie Fisher. Jackie Fisher. Sure, right. And she's a special projects coordinator. So you've got it. You can't say you didn't remember or don't know now because I even have it written down there. <laughs> but uh, that's important. You want to tell that number again because we're going to put it on the bottom of the screen right in front okay. of us too. But 728-2138. And that's for Jackie Fisher. And if you've got a pile full of quarters, she'd be happy to take them. Plus if there's in the form of pennies, dimes, nickels, anything else, mm -hmm. you make them, turn them into quarters right. for your... Right. Our, our million quarter fundraiser. Yeah. Uh, it's not active right now, but we will. Uh, we're switching services, but people can also do donate online. Probably within a week or so, that'll be active again. And our website is www.wmttlc.com. Okay. It's West Michigan Therapy Transitional Living Center com. Okay. And well, we'll put that on the screen okay. also, so Great. that people can't say that. I couldn't catch it. Right. <laughs> it's complicated, right? WMT oh, TLC. Yeah. Oh, there's All right, so, so many websites out there. It's hard to read. Yeah. I can't remember any of them. And so. there's a lot of information about our programs up there, too, that people might want to read on okay. the website. Well, Jackie, appreciate it very much. I think we covered an awful lot. If we there's did. any questions, we'll have to do this in some continuing series. That'd be great. Thank you. How's that? And uh, if we wait long enough, maybe we can see how we're doing on the fundraiser. That'd be great, Tom. We'd love to report back. Okay. Well, this is Tom Anderson, Jackie Fisher, saying thank you very much for watching. And don't forget, it's a quarter, no, it's a million quarters, million quarters drive. Quarters <laughs> to obtain a quarter of a million dollars Correct. for the fundraiser. Thank you.
in addition to uh, individuals and uh, businesses sending in checks to support the Million Quarters Drive, we have a number of community projects that we're doing. Beginning Monday, March 28th, for example, all five Plum supermarkets in Muskegon County will be asking customers at the register if they'd like to make a contribution to West Michigan Therapy. And so people can just donate their change at their, as they're checking out. And that'll be a great contribution to our campaign. And we have some other projects like that that'll be coming up in the next couple of months. So we hope to get the community involved at different levels in supporting our project. Thank you.